that we had we had riots outside Downing Street with missiles being thrown and people chanting Nigel Farage for Prime Minister, Tommy Robinson for Home Secretary, stop the boats, singing Royal Britannia. I mean, um, the I think it was 49 police officers were, um, were, were hurt on the night before in Southport. I mean, this is being used by far-right activists to promote a particular right-of-centre agenda. And, and you're right, the government kind of wants for public order reasons to be able to respond to that by saying, no, look at the facts. And in those circumstances, not being able to do, look, it will be very frustrating. But we should, we should hear what Nigel Farage said, which many people would claim sparked or at least contributed to this rumour mill that this was an Islamist terrorist attack, that this was conducted by someone who had just recently got off one of those small boats. This is what Farage put out on social media. I have to say there are one or two questions. Uh, Was this guy being monitored by the security services? Some reports say he was, others less sure. The police say it's a non-terror incident. Just as they said the stabbing of an army lieutenant colonel in uniform on the streets of Kent the other day was a non-terror incident. I just wonder whether the truth is being withheld from us. I don't know the answer to that, but I think it is a fair and legitimate question. So what struck me about that is that once Farage said that, and then you had the riots uh, in Merseyside, and as you say, they've now been uh, disorder outside the gates of Downing Street, Basically, the kind of mainstream political establishment, I think, has been a little bit lame in taking the fight to Farage. I would think what's going on here is people being cautious about giving him the platform he he wants. Uh, on the other hand, you know, he had the opportunity to come on Good Morning Britain this, with us this morning, and they thought about it for a few hours and finally said they didn't want to because he doesn't want to come on and answer the question as to um, whether he um, condemns attacks on the police and what's been happening with these these demonstrations? What well, I look at this, I don't know what do you think? But can I, I just pick a... up on just let me pick up on something there, Ed? Because you say people don't want to give him the platform, and that is literally what I was told many times. This was ten years ago when he was stirring things up about the EU, and it was always like, "Don't give him the platform. You're only going to repeat, you know, his conspiracy theories and give them more of an airing, and you know, ignore him." And that has not worked. It didn't work for the Tory party. And I'm going to say it's not going to work for the Labour party. Look, um, uh, I am just like you, observing it and wondering um, um, you know, how to understand it. I don't know what the um, inside conversations have been. I do think, though, that there is a divide um, now within, within reform. You have some people uh, like Richard Tice, maybe Lee Anderson as well, who um, who think to themselves that uh, reform can replace the Conservatives by becoming the um, you know the political party which is more in tune with traditional Conservatives, golf club Conservatives, older Conservatives who feel that you know the Sunak Conservative Party lost its way, and they've been much more careful um, and you know to talk and to talk carefully about um, what's been going on and condemn um, the kind of attacks on the police. And Farage is different because Farage actually wants to be the Trump populist outsider. Uh, He plays to the conspiracy theory. He plays to the idea of the deep state having some plan. Um, He plays along with those sort of um, issues around COVID vaccines uh, as well. And, um, And for those people, I mean, you wouldn't call out Tommy Robinson and play the Robinson videos, because they are so extreme and inciting. But the people, you know, there was a person wearing a T-shirt outside Downing Street yesterday about Farage and Robinson. And maybe the thing about Farage is that that's the road he wants to go down. And on the one hand, as you say, um, it's dangerous, but maybe it makes him a less legitimate political figure and he should be allowed to condemn himself in that way. Well, I want to hear... One of these people who wants to be the next Tory leader, go out there and really slam into him and call him out, right? And say, this is absolutely unacceptable, right? We don't want anything like this anywhere near the Conservative Party. And this is exactly why Farage will never be let in as a Tory party member. (laughs) 